hi everyone in uh, today's video on ship stability i take up a question which often confuses students uh, because uh, firstly they don't understand what is the relevance of this question and secondly it's not based on a ship situation so but still i thought i should discuss it here the question is finding the distance between the center of gravity and center of buoyancy but of a homogeneous log so if you don't know what a homogeneous log means homogeneous log means it is a, a log shape it is consistent in shape there are no odd shapes here so just to show you an example that if i draw a homogeneous log this is what it will look like so there are no bumps here the shape is not odd so the shape is something not like this this is not the log we are talking about it's a homogeneous log the shape and the consistency is consistent throughout uh, and it it is just to give us an idea of the shape of a, uh, an object for which we have to calculate a certain stability aspect of it right so the question here is that a homogeneous log floating horizontally is three meters in length 85 centimeters wide 60 centimeters deep and it has a relative density of 0 0.87 you have to find the distance between the center of buoyancy cob and center of gravity cog when the log is floating in water of density 1.008 ton per metric cube now remember to note down the units here very carefully the length is given in meters but the width and the depth is given in centimeters so you have to convert all of them into one unit which could ideally be meters right the next is the relative density 0 0.87 it is doesn't have any units because it is with respect to a freshwater density maybe or it because this is talking about the density of the log it is talking about the density in reference to another density that is why there are no units here it relative density has no units because it is in reference to another density that is why it has no units and you have to find the distance between center of buoyancy and center of gravity when the density of the water is 1.008 ton per metric cube because again we have met metric cube here or meter cube here we keep all the units in meters so here the length this is how i draw the log this is three meters length this is the length of the log uh, 60 centimeters is the width or you can say it is point or you can say 0 0.60 meters and similarly the width is 85 centimeters or you can say or 0.85 meters all right now we have drawn the key this is not keel but i'll just give it a reference as a keel uh, for shape so k to g k to g so that means the center of gravity will be located at the center of the height of the log so center of gravity or kg will be at half a height of the log so height of the log is 60 centimeters so you can just half it make it 30 centimeters or convert it into meters by dividing it by 100 so 30 divided by 100 converts the unit into meters 0 0.30 meters that is where the center of gravity of a log is always at the half of the height all right normally the center right then you have to find now where the center of buoyancy is all right so to do that you first find out the mass of the log what is the mass of the log volume of the log multiplied by density of the log this is of the log all right water is not involved here yet so volume of the log is length by width by height you can say 3 by 0.6 you can see how i have converted them to meters now so everything is in meters multiplied by 0.87 which is the relative density so mass of the log is 1.3311 tons also mass of the log also mass of the log when floating in the water will remain unchanged but mass of the log when floating in water when floating in water of density 1.008 when the mass of the log floating in water of 1.008 ton per metric cube will remain unchanged 1.3311 but how is it calculated it is calculated by length by breadth by draft multiplied by density of water all right so i take the log and i just float it in the water 
it will displace a certain amount of water that is what we are trying to find here so length by breadth by draft is equal to or multiplied by density of water so to find the density of draft of water just divide these so divide the mass by these values here so transpose all the knowns to one side and keep the unknown to the other so keeping draft on one side just divide 1.3311 by 3 divided multiplied by 0 0.085 multiplied by 0 1.008 and you will get the draft as 0 0.52 per meter all right that is your draft that is the draft at which the log is floating 0.52 meters now how do you find kb or the center of buoyancy from the keel is of a log is always half of draft so once you find out the draft at which the water is the log is floating half the draft which in this case is 0.52 divided by 2 which is equal to 0.26 meters all right this is because when the center of buoyancy depends on the buoyancy of the uh, log and buoyancy is only discovered when the log is floating in water all right that is why we have to find the draft so depending on the draft we find the center of the draft which gives us the center of the buoyancy of the homogeneous log so kb is equal to 0.26 and kg is equal to 0 0.30 so of course the distance between g and b is now easily found so kg is 0 0.30 and kb is 0 0.26 so kg minus kb is 0 0.30 minus 0 .0, 0 0.26 which is 0 0.04 meters or multiplied by 100 gives you 4 centimeters depends on what you want to write the answer in which unit you want to choose all right so although it was a homogeneous log i tried to make it very simple for you to understand how it all works out so being able to draw the diagram and being able to visualize it becomes very important for you so watch this video guys multiple times subscribe share like and watch out for my next video